What's going on, Snapper Heads? It's your boy, Jersey Joe. I got a brand new rant video for you guys today, and I got to warn you. It, it, whew, I, I get a little bit emotional when we talk about these things. So let's get the intro rolling, and then let's do what we do, shall we? When you think professional sports, you think of New York. Maybe L.A. too, right? I mean, L.A., New York, they're pretty much the two biggest markets in the professional sports scene. I don't, I don't care what any of the rest of you say. I don't want to hear it. Don't, I don't want to even listen to it, okay? L.A., New York. And when it comes down to it, the New York sports teams, that's like the mecca of sports. Supposedly, once upon a time, maybe. Not anymore. And yeah, I know. I know. I'm from Jersey. I get it. I get it, all right? But Jersey doesn't have a plethora of teams to root for. Therefore, we become New York fans by just, you know, it's our hometown, essentially. The New York teams are our hometown teams. So that's what I am. I am a hometown kid. Now, I should say that, again, the North-South difference is here. North Jersey tends to lean towards the New York teams. South Jersey goes towards the Philly teams. We won't, we won't even get into that. We're not, we're not going to talk about that one. We're not... I'm not doing it. You're not going to get me all red in the face and have me screaming at the camera already. We just got started. The sad fact is, though, that this once proud heritage of New York teams playing for championships, being the absolute pinnacle of sports, has absolutely died. We are a joke right now. Do you know the last time a New York sports team won a freaking championship? 2011. And why do I know this? Because it was Eli the Great and my beautiful New York Giants who once again upset the unstoppable Patriots, Tom Brady and Belichick and all them. They have nightmares of Eli, okay? They see Eli Manning coming. They get in the cold sweats. It's like war flashbacks. They don't even know what to do with themselves, all right? That was the last time we won a freaking championship. That was it. 2011. And I know there's somebody watching this going, Joe, what, what are you so upset about? That's only 10 years. Relax. Dude, when you realize how many sports teams New York has, a 10-year drought of even a legitimate contender, okay? 10 years since we've had a team to look at and go, they could do something here. They could do something. 10 years! Since a damn New York team has meant anything. It's a joke. It's a laughing stock, okay? You run down the list here. Ten teams. Ten professional teams. Eleven if you include the Devils, okay? Because the Devils are a New Jersey team. But again, the New Jersey, New York thing, it's all kind of just mixed into one big mixing bowl for this conversation. You've got, in football, you got the Giants who are just the pinnacle of sports, except for the fact that they won't give up on Daniel Jones. Opposing teams love the fact that we're still trying to make this kid good. Opposing defenses have a friggin' party the night before. Who's going to get two fumble recoveries today? We are. Who's going to get three interceptions? We are. Why? Daniel Jones sucks. I'm done. I wish we would move on, okay? But... I still see some talent forming in the giant you know, area. It's just Daniel friggin' Jones. I don't know. Maybe Joe Judge will figure this all out and we'll get things corrected here. Then you got the Jets. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. I didn't. I'm <laughs> the Jets. I, I don't know. The Jets are just. They're, they're the Jets. Like, I don't know what else you want me to say, man. Yeah, I mean, the last time the Jets were any good, Mark Sanchez was their quarterback. And that should tell you a whole lot about the freaking Jets, okay? You got the Knicks. You got the Brooklyn, ne Brooklyn Nets and the Knicks. Both this season gave us all thoughts. Maybe something was going to happen. First of all, Brooklyn Nets already pissed me off. You leave Jersey, horse shit, all right? I loved it when they were in Conta de Leon's Arena. I got to go over to the Nets games all the time. Go to Brooklyn. You sign Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, you trade for James Harden, and for what? All for nothing. I don't want to hear about the injuries. There were two superstars on the court still. You better deliver me a championship. That's all I know. You got 
three more years together, you better get the job done. The Yankees, they just throw money at the problem. It never gets any better. Not that I really care. I, I, I just, I can't stand the Yankees. I'm sorry. I know there's a Yankee fan out there that's going to comment and kill me for this. But I feel like being a Yankee fan is like being a millionaire. You're just going to be hated because you're always going to be good and you got money to throw at the problem. So just get over it, all right? The Mets. I mean, it takes character to be a friggin' Mets fan, okay? Real character. And do you know why? Every time the Mets start getting good, we all sit here and we go, look out, here they go. They got a young team. They're going to be a problem. They're going to take the league on. The last time we said that was 2015. They lost 4-1 to in the series, and they've sucked ever since. The Islanders, the friggin' Rangers, the Devils, always on the cusp, never delivering for any of us. Oh, and let's not forget, we got Buffalo teams, too. That's right, Buffalo's part of New York, guys. I don't know, people seem to forget that for some reason. Buffalo's part of New York, though. You got the Sabres, you got the Bills. Do you know how disturbing it is that the best thing you can say about New York sports right now is that the Buffalo Bills look good? That's the best thing we got going for us. That's it. That's it, okay? The Knicks, I, I don't know, man. It's a group of young guys with a couple of could-be star players, an older Derrick Rose. I have a feeling like they're like a shooting star. It was fun this year. We'll see what next year brings. All our hope right now hangs on the Brooklyn Nets. That trio needs to deliver. Because as long as the Giants have Daniel, I don't know what color jersey my team wears Jones, we're never going to fix the problem. This is going to be a nightmare. And all New York fans, New Jersey fans deserve better. I just, I, I want to say something to the New York teams out there. And the odds are none of them are ever going to see this. But if they do, the Eli Mannings and Justin Tucks and Tom Coughlins are disgraced right now. Patrick Ewing, I, I mean, I know Patrick never got the job done either, but he was a hell of a player, all right? The Knicks were a contender every year. They just couldn't get over the hump. The Jason Kids of the world that took a no-name New Jersey Net team and put them in the finals two years, all right? The friggin' Derek Jeter's and the Mickey Mantles and everything else of the world are looking down right now, are looking on, and they're sad that this is what our sports world has turned into. This is the best we have to offer right now. For shame. We are letting the other worlds look just, they're looking down on us. When has that ever happened? The Knicks literally at one point turned into the laughing stock of basketball. You people, are you going to go to the Knicks? <laughs> Why would I go to the Knicks? Who does that? Not anybody with any common sense. Now they've turned it around. They got to keep moving in that direction. One or two superstars sign on. Who knows? You got a whole new Nick world, right? But I, we deserve better. 10, count them, 10 with an asterisk next to it for 11 professional teams out of the New York, New Jersey area. And we haven't even been in the running for a championship since 2015. And we haven't won one since 2011. So from all the fans in the New York, New Jersey area, well, I mean, I guess most of the fans in the New York, New Jersey area, I want to thank you all for ripping our hearts out season after season as we cheer on our favorite teams just to be slapped in the face with disappointment Every time. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, it has been another amazing day. I love doing these rant videos. My throat hurts, which is always fun. And I want to thank everyone for stopping in. Unless you're a member of a New York sports team. I'm not thanking you for anything. You did this to me. You did this to me. You've made me this angry. So fix it. See you guys on the next one.